Hey, yo, my people, let's talk about real quick accountability in EMS and in life. You have to take responsibility for the things that happen to you on a day-to-day -day basis. You have to take responsibility for the things that don't happen to you on a day-to-day -day basis. For example, if you get rear-ended, you were the one who were there when it happened. Although the person hit you, it's your fault for being at that place at that specific time, specifically when it happened. I'll give you an example. On New Year's Eve, I, decide, I decided to work overtime a couple of years back in the South Bronx. On that same shift, we had to call for PD to come and save us because the, the wife or our patient's husband was in the hallway with the gun hitting the door because he wanted to get inside the apartment because she caught a new boyfriend. If I would have got shot, it would have technically been my fault, unfortunately, because I'm the one who decided to put myself on that tour. I'm the one who decided to go ahead and pick up the overtime. I'm the one who decided to not spend the holidays with my family because I needed money to graduate medical school. Although I didn't pull the gun on myself, I take accountability for putting myself in that predicament. It's a risk I take. So I say that to say this, my people, if you're working the EMS on and off the ambulance, in and out of the uniform, you have to take accountability. Some of the world's most successful people are people that are willing to raise their hand when they mess up, are willing to take responsibility, full responsibility, even when things are not their fault. Some of the people, some of the world's most low level people are the people who point fingers at others and try to blame them for their shortcomings. Some of the world's most low level people blame everything but themselves when in reality they put themselves in that situation. So if you're working on an ambulance and you get manhandled by an EDP, whether you're a male or a female, EDP stands for emotionally disturbed person. If you get manhandled and slammed and injured by that person, it's unfortunate. It really is. But you got to ask yourself, would this have been preventable if I would have listened to what people told me about practicing martial arts? Would have this been preventable if I left the scene earlier or if I didn't work today? Of course. So I say that to say this, my people, unfortunately, there's things that are going to happen that are not within your control. But what is in your control are the decisions that you make on a day to day basis. You don't make life altering decisions every single day of the week. What you do make is small decisions that pile up into this big one thing that creates your reality. Those, that small decision to stay in your house when you got off of work instead of working out, that small decision to get that extra pastry at the end of your checkout at your fast food restaurant, that small decision to have one too many beers on the weekend, it all added up. And that small decision to work and be a, a sedentary person when you're 1089, that's the reason why you have your gut, my man. My lady, don't blame it on hypothyroidism. Don't blame it on the fact that you work too many hours. Blame it on the fact that you gave up. Blame it on the fact that you ain't got no commitment. Don't blame it on me. Don't blame it on society. Don't blame your lack of time and your lack of whatever on anybody else. Blame it on yourself. I'm not here to talk down on you. I'm here to explain to you how to level up, how to be another person, how to not put up with the lower version of yourself. I've been in your shoes. I know where you're at. I don't judge you. I see right through you. But if you're listening to this and it's not reaching your heart, if it's not reaching your brain, if you just trying to listen to whatever I say and trying to press pause and, 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 and try to argue every single syllable that I'm bringing up out of my mouth, I'll tell you why. Because we're not in tune with the right and the same frequency. You frequently, you frequently see what's within your frequency. So if you are, if you a low level frequency motherfucker, then what I'm saying make no damn sense to you. But if you a high level EMT, if you a high level individual, if you a high level paramedic, then all this makes perfect sense to you. So ask yourself, am I tripping? 
Like, yo, this guy's a medical doctor. He's a high school dropout. He holds a, a, a doctor degree in medicine, and he still works on the ambulance. This guy's in shape. This guy's doing big things. He got 1.2 million reached on YouTube. And I'm helping EMTs and paramedics. Maybe that's a person I should listen to. Maybe I'm the one that's fucked up. That's what I would be saying to myself. And I don't mind. I don't mean to put myself on a pedestal. But the facts are the facts. What have you done? What have you helped? Who have you helped? Cursing at the drunk on your way to the job. Upset because you got a late job. Upset because you got to go up five flights of stairs. And then... You have the nerve to have a freaking joke of an emoji on your phone as a representative of your face. Like, inside joke, guys. I was in this chat, and this guy had a, a, a hamburger emoji to represent himself. He didn't say his name or her name. It just had a cheeseburger emoji. Like, how can you take these people seriously if they don't take themselves seriously? So, if you're a new EMT, if you're a new paramedic, if you're taking in this information, only listen to those that are or are on their way to be where you want to be. Don't listen to an experienced paramedic, an experienced EMT, where they only focus on the strengths and disregard their weaknesses. Like, all right, boom, you got experience as a paramedic. That's awesome. We appreciate the work you've done for the community. But what do you do all for work? Who else are you helping? Are you killing it in other areas of life? No? All right, that's fine. Not, not Everyone is not doing that. But are you making an effort to kill it in other areas of life? Or are you just throwing in the towel as soon as you fucking go home? So, my people, especially my new people to EMS, be careful who you listen to. And be careful with your circle before they hurt you. They might hurt you directly or indirectly. I hope this helps. Peace.